Hello, this is Mandarin Gaming, I'm Nafanik, and I'm very excited about this game. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Will there be a Chapter 2? First I want to go through settings, difficulty level, young detective, must of deduction, Mycroft. Young detective, you will see interactively icons for people and items you can interact with. Evidence in your casebook will have an action icon hinting at the next steps in your investigation. You will receive prompts to visit the mine palace and casebook, and you will be notified when you've collected key evidence and all evidence. You will have more time to make some decisions. I... I don't mind it, it's good. What about combat? So I know that, that this game kinda has more action elements than previous games, and I know that it is possible to, to switch off the gun situation completely in this game, as far as I know. So this is balanced, custom, story. Combat is designed to be dynamic and fast-paced, especially in comparison with investigation. This difficulty level is easier while still letting you enjoy Sherlock's agility and fighting skills. It also allows you to skip combat scenes completely except for, a, for in bandit layers. When you skip combat, your enemies will be arrested, but you won't earn any rewards. You can change difficulty at any time, but it will require you to restart your current session from the, last, from the latest save. How do I switch off uh, guns completely? Well, anyway, I would want to go with the story mode. I don't see an option to remove the guns completely. Well, at least I can skip combat, so that's something. How to play. Casebook. The casebook is your main investigation tool. Information in the casebook is stored as pieces of evidence. A notification will inform you when evidence has been updated. Different icons, good. Some pieces of evidence have additional icons that hint at what to do with them. Location, to talk to a person, find the use for the item, uh, inquire with people around you, take a photo, cool, disguise yourself. Okay, well, let's pretty straightforward, let's say. Map, space, press to add your own marks on the map. This is really cool. Each case has a separate map. So, to see relevant information, be sure to select the desired case in your casebook first. Okay, pinned evidence. Evidence can be pinned to the screen. Certain investigative actions require pinned evidence. When profiling people, it will enable you to spot relevant traits. In concentration mode, points of interest and tracking appear when you have the relevant evidence pinned. So, that's kind of important. Press to pin evidence without opening the casebook. Okay, well, I will have to try it. Concentration. You. Press to activate concentration. A scribbled white circle indicates a point of interest. I mean this? And hints that you should concentrate. Sherlock will notice details about the object or even deduce what may now be missing. In the casebook, this icon on a piece of evidence indicates that you need to use concentration. Oh, I cannot read this. What is this? This will reveal some personal attributes and their friendliness towards Sherlock. It will not, because I don't know what is, what, what, what is written here. Whom but? To arrest an enemy, first stun them by using their weak points, the environment or your snu snuff box. How do I use snuff box to stun an enemy? After stunning, a timer indicates that an enemy can be arrested. Get close and complete the quick time event before time is up to arrest your four. When aiming, combat automatically goes into slow motion. Its duration is limited and must recharge after use. Enemies in helmets cannot be stunned. There is one bandit layer hidden in each district. This icon on the map indicates a bandit layer. Players usually feature more enemies in harder combinations than there are in the story. Saving, surviving, the layer rewards you with money depending on your combat performance. We'll see about that. John. Meet John, your companion, your companion and helper. Listen to what John says. He can be very helpful. At times, John will challenge you with special objective. These tasks are indicated with a special icon in your casebook. These challenges can be won or lost depending on your choices and skill. John has his own personality and his relationship with Sherlock will be affected by your decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is good, I like it. Let's start a new game.
A mother's love. Ask the receptionist about my room. I have a task already. Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the weeks-long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. Are you being showed? Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Welcome to the game. Use WSDA to move around and press left mouse button to interact with objects. Are you an object? Okay, I cannot go through this gate. Apple. Can I pick up an apple? No. Can I talk to you? Hello, people. No, I cannot talk to you. What? The only thing that I can do is to just come in into this hotel or whatever this is. I want to pick up some apples or... Uh, those are not apples. Is this a pomegranate? Hello, beauty. Okay, well, let's try and interact with John. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Ah... <laughs> uh... Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. I like this kind of change of um, attitude. I get usually with a Sherlock who would be, who would be this sassy and all. Alright. What with the pose? <laughs> okay. Let's come in. Oh, wait. Did I talk to you? If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Okay. Well, oh. Oh, I don't have to open the door. So, can I open the gates too? Like this? Nah. Not a chance. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. Are you talking to me? Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I... I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want you to should see have... our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. You should have taken two keys. Second key is always good. Hello? So, can I do anything yet? I don't think so. Staff only. I'm pretty sure that I can't come in here. No, of course not. So, there are stairs. 
What do we have on this side? What is this? I don't know. Some kind of lunch? Is this a bar? Hello. Would you like a drink, sir? Uh, well, I would, but I don't have this kind of action, so never mind. Maybe later. Where is my friend John? Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Okay. Mm so I guess that I need to come up the stairs and... Uh, why is everyone scr sc What's the word? Scrubbing. Why is everyone scrubbing the floor? That's what I wanted to say. Mm. So my room is... Uh, there, are no there are numbers. It's just very barely visible. Okay. Why are you smoking here? Hello, ladies. Wait, what was my number? Yeah, 221. I remember that's right. Actually, let's go through this all. Is this a mind palace? A mother's love case book. My story. A mother's love cases. Cordona stories archived. Back to Cordona. I arrived at Cordona, the island where I spent my childhood, accompanied by my old by my only friend John. It is late evening, but I have a room booked at the hotel. Uh, Il Palazzo del Lusso. I simply need to check in with the receptionist. I've done that. It seems as if I must spend a night here before I can visit my mother's grave. The receptionist welcomed me and said the room number 221 had been prepared for me upstairs. June's diary. Empty. Map. So this is where we are. What is this? Hello? How can I... Grand Saray Traders Alley. What's this? Maltese Bridge. Greek Bridge. Okay, so I can move this map with my mouse. <laughs> That's a relief. This, this is a large game. The, oh, this is cool. Pretty big map too. Awesome. Wardrobe. Sherlock suit, bold, black and brilliant. No hat. No accessories, no facial hair, no makeup. John's favorite suit. Yes, I wash it sometimes. Why? Because you're still gay, I guess. What are these things? Help. Well, I don't need help right now. Maybe later. Should I save? Just in case, you know. Okay, so room 225. Somewhere must be room 221. On the other side, I cannot... Alright, because this is where musicians are. Okay, I thought that I could uh, walk through there, but I cannot. So, uh, what is this door? Hi, what is this door? Can you tell me? No? Actually, quite rude. So, I assume that my room is located on this side. 223, 222, 221. Finally, hello. Let me... I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. How can it Perhaps be? Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. How could you? What is going on? So now this barman will talk to me, I assume. Right. But wait, not... not... He talked to me. I didn't talk to, to him. I was rude because I couldn't talk. Hey, Sherry, just our luck. What? What do you mean? I don't get it. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's Patch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Well, where, where, is, where is John? Oh, here he is. Oh, you were talking about this something. What is this? A medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me? Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir... It's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. 
all things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. I agree. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. <laughs> Sherlock is not impressed, okay. Come now, Sherry, what did he do to deserve that? The I servant no mentioned idea. ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Okay, so do we meet the medium, or do we not? Where, where are my tasks? Uh, Joan found an advertisement in the hall and wants me to take a look. A table to spend the evening. Joan decided to look for a free table and asked me to collect the complimentary ceviche from the bar. Meeting the medium. Today only the famed medium Luca Galeacci, no, not Galeacci, Galici, performs a seance. Witness him summon the spirits of beloved relatives and celebrities. We can use this opportunity to, to meet um, Sherlock's mom, right? John wants me to visit the medium. We must wait for the seance to end. In the meantime, I'll find myself a table, enjoy the music, and relax. This uh, sounds like a good plan to me. So let's grab a plate. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Do you have inventory? Uh, no, I have wardrobe, case book. Um, let me check my notes. Do I have inventory? Mm, okay, I don't think that we have inventory here. I guess that everything, maybe not everything, but will appear in the case book. A plate of se what is actually ceviche? A complimentary plate of ceviche I took from the hotel bar. Not my favorite, but John wanted to try it. Actually. Probably should look up this word. What does it mean? It's a South American seafood dish that originated in Peru, typically made from fresh raw fish, cured in fresh cit citrus juices, most commonly lemon or lime, but historically made with the juice of bitter orange. It's also spiced with the ahi chili peppers or other seasonings and chopped onions, salt and coriander are also added. Very nice. I hope that Sherlock and John will enjoy this. I don't think that I would. Maybe I would. So let me find the John now. She Sherry, is. I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. What's Ursine? So many new words today already. Ursine relating to or resembling bears? Where do you see a bear here? Oh, over there. Oh, right. That is... <laughs> that is nice. And you finished a plate already, I see, right? No. Just glitched. Cordon is even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What do you have in mind? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am... Itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well, then, you can deliver it to him as well. Why should I reach on it? Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Oh, stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. Okay, so how do we do it? What's that? Uh, old inspect? A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow. Perhaps the fielding family or meadows. Or... Craven, from the old English name, meaning garlic place. Okay, what is this? The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. Mm -hmm. And the last hint? The cane is made of ebony, it's worn uncared for, and bears the scars of numerous hits. 
This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. Gaelic. All right. I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press C to open the casebook. In the evidence with the X. This is the one, right? Yes, pin the evidence. And then speak to someone. Try it now with the cane. Okay, let's try it. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. How do I hide this um, hint uh, thing? Can I talk to you? Are you able to help me? Friend, you're lucky there is something I know about this. The lost cane. There were three people at the table, a couple and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was seen going out to the front garden for some air. I have to find him. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Ask you to concentrate and reveal details to identify your target. Don't forget to pin the relevant evidence. Some clues won't be visible without it. Try to find the former Navy officer and we have some kind of bet thing with the Joan. I will get some money and maybe approval. So well, I need to find the garden first. The front garden is at the front, right? Okay, let's see what kind of um, Jones bet. The retired Navy officer who was sitting at our table may own the cane or knows who or know who does. John has bet I cannot guess the officer on the first try. I should prove him wrong. So this is the icon of the bet. Yeah, these are icons that uh, I need to ask people. I have it pinned or I need to pin it and this is um, concentration. Okay. So, I need to click you and look for people. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Italian actor harms animals. Friendly. Swedish physician occultist sympathetic. Well, hello, who are you? Mm. English bureaucrat retired military officer sympathetic. Maybe that's him. Why you are not appearing? Okay, Gordonian singer needs with seaweed sympathetic. Okay, there are some more people on this side. French artist, good singer, sympathetic. Great. Italian tourist enjoys walks in open air, affable. So I guess that's the only person who matches um, our criteria is. Uh, this person, English bureaucrat, retired military officer, sympathetic. So do I talk to him now? How do I talk to him? I? Are you able to help me? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. The lost cane. The Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with a noble couple. The man talked about yachting and the lady was fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps she put it aside and her husband forgot to take it when they went to the medium. Now I have a perfect excuse to enter the seance room. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Okay, the lost cane. The cane is the accessory of a British nobleman, okay? Okay, so I can give the cane back to its owner. As expected, I won the bet. Good job. The lost cane. Okay, well then, the, let's go to the sense room. If only I knew where that sense room was. Wait, was there a room written on this advertisement? Incredible Luca Galici, the friend of spirits only today, no room number. So we need to be a medium myself and try and figure... Wow, this is an interesting statue. 
I'm trying to figure out where I can find him. Or her? Is this here? Mm, no. That wasn't there. And that's curious, how can I find it? Which room? How do I know? Is that I need to walk by every room? Okay, that room is not that room that I need. Is this this room? No. Oh, this is fun. So, um, can you help me maybe? Your room is upstairs, sir. Number 221. I want to know where the medium is. Oh, the medium is probably here, right? Yes. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey, boy! That's my cane! I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Observe. Hey, he looks like Hugh Laurie. Red face, swollen reddish skin. Accept. Okay. What else? What's this? Expensive and new clothes, rich and fashionable. Uh, oh, no. It's not just the mouse, I need to move uh, with the keys too, okay. A head of garlic, oh cool! Doesn't wear a wedding ring. A head of garlic, I want to read like that. That's, that's really cool. I like it. What about your hands? Recently hit someone with force. Well, we saw him trying to hit the... Yes, not just trying, because that another person, I think that, that was medium, um, was holding his fingers um, by his nose. I'm not sure. I didn't really see it. So I assume that he did hit that, the medium. Okay. Judging by heraldic emblem on his signet, Rin and Cain, I can be fairly certain that this man is Lord Craven, a bored, rich English nobleman who travels around Europe squandering his money. His florid face indicates that he has problems with alcohol, he is still physically strong and healthy, but in a few years' time he'll be wretched. Being constantly drunk, he has issues with his temper. His red knuckles reveal that he has severely beaten at least one person quite recently. His anger issues mixed with alcohol and contrariety would make him a um, violent person. Uh, well, bored British nobleman or an ill Englishman on resort? Uh, do you have to select? Bored British nobleman? Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr... Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. Hmm. What happened at the seance? You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. 
But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. Well, tell me about the diamond. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. I'm going to look around, okay? Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. So how do we, how do, we do it? Press Z to highlight interactive areas in the environment around you. This ability must recharge before it can be used again. Hmm. Oh. That's cool. Concentration helps you pick up smaller details about the world around you. When you see a scribbled white circle, press Q to observe the object more closely. Oval groove. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. It's quite large, okay. Um, is there anything else? Oh, right, there is. Was this? Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? The Seans Thievery Sin? This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? Mm -hmm. The ghost was here, Sherry! There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Well, I found only four blue, so I need to find another one. Do I walk? I cannot walk. So it must be within my reach right now. No, I can move. Just round the table. Hmm, this is curious. I guess that there is something. Why can't I see it? I mean, it's difficult to see anything here because of the way it's designed, but still... Oof. It's like pixel hunting because at some point this thing must become yellow but it's not becoming yellow. Mm, I don't know. Mind Palace, Ghost of the Past. Lady Craven faced the window. During the sounds, Lady Graven's place at the table was opposite a window to the courtyard. Do you want me to go look into the window? Can I talk to Thank you? Thank you maybe? for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Okay, let's see. I think I need to see what's behind Was here. this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. So I cannot uncover this. I wonder this. what this mirror could have witnessed. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. I agree. Especially when we entered the room and there was music and everything. I loved it. Okay, well nothing here. Can I talk to you, my lady? Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. A feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. Barely conscious, sympathetic. Ethiopian medium, disoriented, affable. 
Turkish servant accommodating, sympathetic. Well, that's my friend, uh, John. Aha! This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. I talk to you. Oh, this is a funny. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Are any spirits here now? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. We'll find out who did it. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Mm, I need to go into my mind place. Ghost of the past. Lady Craven faced the window. The lady pointed across the table and screamed. Lord Craven punched the medium. Mm. Deductions. Combine clues to make deductions. Well, yes, I would want to. So how do I combine them? Oh, like so. Okay. The courtyard witness. Lady Craven was pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the scenes. Well, okay, and uh, well, that's it. So, the center of the seance room has a table for conducting seances. There is a holder where the diamond was kept. A cigar butt and whiskey glass were on the table at the place nearest the main door. Opposite the window, a glass of wine had been partially spilled. The chair was thrown aside with great force. Lady Craven is barely conscious but appears to be unhurt. After she has taken a short rest, I should be able to talk to her. I bet she's pretending. She's faking it. Oh, the unlucky sands. It seems the sands went south. I don't know what happened yet, but I doubt that spirits were responsible for the punch to Luca Galici's face. Perhaps the men who hit him can explain. Perhaps. So, I guess that I need to be right. I wasn't sure that I could do it. So, uh, what do we have here? We have beautiful flowers here. We have beautiful starry night. Oh, that's nice. We have some statues here. Can I swim? No. We have a person here. I need to talk to him. Hello, dear sir. I cannot talk to you. Great. Wait. What if I pin this... Um, where was it? What if I pin... No, I don't think that the, the, it happens. Okay, so this is search for location. Yeah, right. I still cannot talk to him because that wasn't in the intention of this, this taste. A honey plotter's note. Angie. It looks like the old man is losing it. He, his beehives are being ransacked, and his bees are going down one by one. I don't think there is such. I don't think there is much honey left in staying with a swarm. If you catch my drift, meet me at the docks at noon. We'll do it together. Aha! I think that um, the wife. Is having an affair with someone, and that someone stole the diamond while she was um, distracting her husband and everyone else. Can I talk to you now? Excuse Hello? me, just one question. I can't help you with that, sir. Mm, you should have. You should be. No, no, no. I, I picked the wrong. I picked the wrong. Okay, um, John's diary, documents. Why is it in John's diary instead of Sherlock's? Interesting. Yeah, right. So I, um, this is not the evidence that I wanted to pin. I wanted to pin. I wanted to pin this one, probably. Let me talk to you now. May I ask you something? I can't help you with that, sir. 
Mm, okay, okay. Let's try concentrating. Anything? Greek artist, single parent, affable. Maybe not concentrating, but something else. Aha, I think I found it. No? Okay. I didn't find it. Well, there is not many things to be interact to interact with, so... Can I come in the stuff room? Oh, yes, I could. So... I thought that would be funny to find the diamond in the bucket. It is not there, of course. Mm, can I go through this door? Yes, I can. What are these? I don't, I don't understand what this is. This cloth? Oh, right, I think this is. I thought initially I thought that it was kind of books or something. Oh, so many rooms. There are voices, I think, right? Behind the door. Right, so there is nothing interactable in this room. And, well, this is the, um, hmm. I mean, can I talk to you? Maybe you've seen something. Could you help me? Apologies, sir, but I've never heard of it. Wait, 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 wait. I think that I need to... No, I thought that maybe there were more, more clues. Oh, well, I don't know. Let's go back then. I thought that maybe I could find um, a clue here, but there is nothing. So it must be something here. But I just... I just can't catch it. This something. Wait, 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 wait. Pixel hunting, pixel hunting. Right, right. Oh my god. So annoying. Okay. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind palace, Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. So that really was like pixel hunting. Great. My favorite stuff. That's sarcasm. So I need to unpin this. And uh, someone in the courtyard. I wanted to look uh, for, for someone in the courtyard. I wanted to look some, for, for some clues of someone in the courtyard. But it didn't allow me to do that before. Now it will allow me, of course. Hi. Well, that, that's great. Ghost of the past, the moth pin. Luke owns a pin in the shape of the moth. I don't think that these two are connected unless uh, Lord Craven hates moth. No, he doesn't hate moth. Okay, so now I can go and look for someone in the courtyard. Here it is. Recently scratched, something stuck. I saw it, I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, this is a hill. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Track someone's movements. First spin the relevant evidence to the screen. Then enter concentration mode with Q to reveal the trail. Sherlock will intuit the approximate path, so stay within that search area. Is this the right clue? Yes. So what? Uh, well, let's start then. John, what are you doing there? Your shoes and your, tra in, and your trousers are... Uh, wait now. Okay, concentration. Let's concentrate. Oh, oh, this is it, right? Yeah. Someone came through this door. And oh, right, we found the shoe. The broken Size heel. Size four with a broken heel. Rose de Moor. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless. Oh, no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Perhaps so we need to talk to maids. Are you a maid? I saw a maid here. Where she's gone? Do you know anything about this? I would never deny you, sir, but I know nothing about this. Oh, hello. Can I ask you a question? Oh, yes. I can tell you everything, sir. The staff said that Lucia got a scolding from the chief steward for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs now. 
Lucia, no, you're not Lucia, there is no pictures. You're not Lucia either. Mm, well, there are pictures, but there is no Lucia. I see pictures here. Oh, you must be Lucia. Wait, I can actually look at this picture. This painting looks authentic, but it's just a talented imitation. So if you say so. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? Mm, I'm solving a crime. Oh, wait. Would be just scared if, if I told that I was solving a crime? Mm, I should have used concentration before I talked to her. Well, I'm solving a crime. A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss... Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. What did you see in the room? Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Did you see anything else? And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Oh, you're showing me where the sense room is, okay? Well, I kinda knew that already. Wait a second, I want to look at my booths. Oh, now I should go to the sense room and construct events. Okay, should I pin this evidence? Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Mm. Okay. So what do we do? And how do we do it? Lying on the floor. With enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past. Interact with a, with a note to begin. Then recreate an accurate version of events. Here try to place the scenes participants in their correct positions. Okay, so that's um, Lord Craven. Okay, this would be the medium, and this would be the lady. Wait, what? I don't get it. <gasps> ah, I need to kind of click through them all. So this is the lady, because she was say sitting in front of the window. Validate. Okay, I validated here. Now, now this is the Lord Craven, and uh, this would be the no, not here. And this would be the medium. I think this is correct. Let's try validated you. Oh no, I need to hold space to validate everything. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, 
at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? <laughs> so she's stolen it. Is that what I think? Room 226. I probably need to unpin this, um, this clue. 225, 224, 22, wait. With skills like that, this biblical lady could get a job in Scotland Yard. 226 was uh, here then somewhere. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. Gossip can help you investigate a case or even discover a new one, so don't hesitate to eavesdrop on people. Lady Craven. When you see an ear icon, hold the left mouse button and try to filter out the important words from a useless chat. Lady Craven. What actions by Lady Craven aroused suspicion in mates? Suspicion? Ah, I need to I need to click space. Lots of ghosts this summer. Mm, discard. Was on the lookout. Keep. The chef steals food. Discard. Wait, there was a timer? I didn't know there was a timer. Okay, then I need to go faster. Uh, keep. How do I keep? W. Then discard, discard, discard. Uh, keep. Sounds bad acquaintances. Yes? No. The chief steals food. Discard. Made her husband drunk. Yes. Lots of guests this summer. Okay, let's do it. Yes. No. That's not correct. Is not well, this is a new, a, new a new technique, a new mechanics that I don't really know yet how to use. So, discard. Discard. Oh, uh, yes. Prices rising again. Yes? No. Lots of no. Cannot use a fish knife. How is that important? <gasps> Overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossiped that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven. By their observation, she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. I thought a fish knife was, a fish knife was about the, 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 the chief who couldn't cook or something was still in the food. Mind Palace. The moth pin sends theft. Do this to connect? No. The probable thief. When the spirit appeared, there was chaos. Lady Craven screamed and pointed away the spirit towards the, wi the window. Lord and the medium were distracted by this. It appears that Lady Craven was the last person who held the diamond and she talked to her about it. She stole it. Okay, let's come in. Oh my god! You're here, at last. I didn't do that, I swear. I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. Police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. Was Emma with you? And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. 
So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Oh, where did you go next? Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Where is Demetia? Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servant secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself, then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. And what did you do next? So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Okay, but I think that I will try to help him next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.